look who's talking today, we become a little bit recreational and take a look at board sports. Now, whether it be in the park or on the ocean, Australia provides many wonderful locations for surfing, sailboarding and all those wonderful things. Everyone should have a go at it. And I think that uh, we have to thank Matthew Kalen from Cool and Gatter in Queensland for suggesting this topic. So let's listen to what our audience has to say. All right, let's find some people who actually do these sports. Jared, which one do you do? Um, I ride my skateboard and it took it just took me a year to learn. How long did it take you? How long did it take? Well, I haven't actually done it. I mean, I know you call me a wimp, but I haven't actually done any skateboarding. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Would I be able to do it, do you think? Yeah, if I teach you. How would you teach me? <laughs> Jared? Um, well, you would have to wear some safety gear and yeah. get a skateboard and then I could teach her. Okay, well it's a date. Uh -huh. How long do you think it'll take me? About 14 years? <laughs> I don't know. And you'd be laughing when I fell off too, I bet. <laughs> Who else does skateboarding or surfing? Pamela, what do you do? Um, I do windsurfing. And how did you start? Um, when I went to Boring Point, my friend taught me. Was it very difficult? Because it looks quite complicated. Um, not really. What were the things you had to learn? Um, keep a grip on the board and just try not to fall over. And what do you like about it? Well, it's fun. That sounds like a good answer. Okay, let's cross over down the other side here and find out what people do over here. How about, who have we got here? James, what do you do? I'm surfing. You're a surfer? No, I'm um, skateboard. Sorry. Skateboard. Well, skateboarding is great fun. What do you like about it? Um, how I fall off. How you fall off? Are you, are you, a, <laughs> you like punishment? <laughs> okay, what, which one do you do? I skateboard. You skateboard too. Yeah. Well, I think skateboarding is a great sport. There are lots of things that you can do. And if you want to know more about the board sports, well, you don't have to look any further than our first guest, Gail Austin. Now, besides having first-hand experience in riding all those boards we've been talking about, she's turned her knowledge about board riders into a business and she sells board riding equipment from surfboards to skateboards, even to the protective gear that you need to avoid all those skinned knees and elbows that James has probably got lots of. So let's welcome Gail Austin to Look Who's Talking. Gail, you started pretty late, didn't you? I did really, yes. It was very late in life. Yeah. How old were you when you started? Oh, I, I don't want to tell everyone my age. Come on, were you grey-haired <laughs> when you first stepped on a surfboard? Well, I had a sort of slight tinge. <laughs> well, you were about 30, weren't you? Yeah, I was, yeah. Well, let's ask Gail some questions yeah. about these sports. Who'd like to start the ball rolling? Over here. Fernando. How long have you been doing it for? Surfing? Well, that's, um, that's again one I don't want to answer, but let's say over a decade. <laughs> Wow. Did you have a lot of trouble being older when you started learning? No, not really. I think it's just the same as uh, starting when you're young. If you're really keen, you get on an old board and get out there and get into it. Okay, let's move over here. And this is Cathy. What is your favourite board sport? Well, I'd have to say surfboard riding. It really is. What's your favourite, Cathy? I love surfing on a boogie board. How good are you at boogie boarding? Not good. Not too good, but you can learn. She can learn, can't yes, she? Yes, anybody can learn to ride a boogie board. Let's go down. Great way to start. Oh, well, well, we might stop over here with Anna. It's Anna Rell. Have you ever surfed in competitions in Hawaii? Uh, not in Hawaii, no, but I've surfed in competition in Australia. How tough are the competitions when you're a surfer? Oh, very tough. Very, very tough. Let's come down the front yeah, here. Very tough. And this is and Diaz. Do you think it's dangerous surfing? I have hurt myself once, but that's only once in many, many years, so it's not really a dangerous sport, no. How about Claire? Um, what made you think of surfing at the first place? Well, it seemed like a really good idea when I started. The surf was sitting there right along our coastline, <laughs> and uh, it looked like a nice thing to do. Melissa? Would you like to try skateboarding? I have done that. I've certainly skateboarded many, many times. So and I have you it. ended up with the skin knees too? I did. I hurt myself a great deal, in fact. In the beginning? In the beginning, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll talk more about the subject in just a moment. Stay with us. We'll be back after the break. Murphy in the men's movement. Whoa. What a riot. Show's over. Right <laughs> up to Growing Pains Monday on Vine. Are you hungry? Oh, good eat a horse. When you've worked up an appetite, unpack a Cadbury picnic. With the great combination of caramel, wafer, rice crisps, roasted peanuts and Cadbury milk chocolate that make it such a delicious mouthful. Cut, 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 cut! 
What do you think this is? Picnic? When you've worked up an appetite, unpack a Cadbury picnic. What's a black hole? Will everything get sucked in? How do your muscles work? You never know what you'll need to know, but Tree of Knowledge does. How do you fight an oil rig fire? Why did Queen Mary lose her head? What killed the dinosaurs? Tree of Knowledge builds each week into a complete reference. Great for projects. Have fun reading about everything while you're getting all the answers. Tree of Knowledge, out now with a free binder. What is acid rain? If you're a farmer who cares about the land Or someone in the city You need to understand That like we need the air to breathe That's how we need the land We need the land Landcare begins in your backyard Whether it's large or small Our planet depends on the life of the land Landcare depends on us all Wherever you live, Landcare is in your hands We need the land What a great day, great for teaching birdie How to flap her wings, how to reach the sky It's mac time now for our birdie Yes it is Higher and higher birdie, Ooh. you can do it Hey look at birdie, up in the sky where she can fly I'd love to drop in for breakfast It's mac time now for McDonald's Planning lessons tomorrow Look Who's Talking. Now, one of the very funny people who work on the Look Who's Talking team has decided it would be amusing if we showed you some pictures of me doing some sailboarding, but I don't think we should do it. Do you think we should? Yes! yes. All right, well, let's have a look at my style. Now you move forward. <laughs> hey, move forward, but you stop just... No, before called on the water. Hmm, this is definitely not a sport for sugar babies or people who are afraid of a little bit of water or a lot of water. But I'm no landlubber and as the old saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, then try, 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 try and just keep on trying. You guys are really rotten to me. Well, what did you think about my style, Shannon? Um... I thought it wasn't pretty good. You thought it was pretty <laughs> terrible. Practice. Oh, that's mean. Well, shall we ask the expert the best way to start learning? Yeah. Okay. Give Gail a tough question. Um, how do you start? How? What age group do you have to be in? I don't think in sailboarding it matters about your age. It's more or less whether you feel you want to get out on the water and uh, get going in sailboarding. Like in the wind, it should be really light just to begin with, and a nice big board. Like the one Fiona had, it was great to learn on. You just sort of got a scale. <laughs> yeah. Something nice and large and you can stand on it and a nice small sail so you can get going. But it's a great thing to do at any age group. I think about your age, eight, eight to 12 is a good time to start. Pamela. Um, Gail, when, um, oh, how long have you been riding a skateboard for? A skateboard? Okay, well I started riding a skateboard when I was younger, that was when I was about 14, so that's many years ago. But I did uh, start competing in skateboarding uh, in my 30s, and that's when I used to run the Skateboarding Association and run competitions for kids. But there's never many girls go skateboarding, so there wasn't much competition, I won a lot of prizes. Well, have we got some girls who, who do skateboarding here today? Who's, yes, who's I a skateboarder? Yeah. Here we are, here's one up here, let's go up and talk to Marissa. I'm not much of a skateboard because my friends got one, but it's hard to...